Quote, Hello, my name is Jackson Doherty, pilot number 3361. This brief memo will serve me the purpose of explaining my current misfortune as well as why I am where I am. At my earliest childhood memory, the world around me prioritized fast travel. Jets and high-speed automobiles, hyperloops, all had the unique purpose of getting from point A to point B, challenging each other to be faster than the last for fear of obsolescence. Save for me, I've been granted the ability to fast travel. Traveling where I want when I want has opened many doors as I'm sure you imagine. Having access to schooling inaccessible to those in my location allowed me to propel forward at an unprecedented rate. My studies emerged as exceptional for my area so instead of being chalked up to an excellent curriculum I was viewed as a genius. My impoverished home conditions created an opportunity to finance an engineering degree at the very prestigious Stanford University. Don't get me started on time saved traveling between classes. My 1,000 flight hours to becoming an astronaut passed in what felt like an instance as I could simply fast travel while in the aircraft. At just 22, I found myself a pilot of the first manned mission to Mars. This is where my misfortune begins. Roughly three days into the trip, our journey had long surpassed the moon missions and the ISS. I figured the time had come to initiate fast travel, opting out of the half-year expedition ahead of me. In doing so, I came to an error that read, unavailable to travel when near enemies. Of course, having never ran into a similar issue, my fear amplified, causing my need for this message. I fear we won't make it much further. This happened four days ago. As we continue our odyssey, crew morale remains high. However, they haven't the intuition my gift has given me. My preemptive warning feeds my concern day by day. You see, there has never been a threat large enough to prevent my travel. This danger is imminent. If we are but seven days, at our speed of travel, away from Earth, God only knows how long it will be between our demise and the decimation of the world we all call home. I record this as a warning. My signal will be dispatched to the farthest reach capable of our current broadcasting equipment and I pray to all things holy, that by the grace of God, this recording will reach you. For if it does not, we all will perish. Sincerely signing off, Pilot Doherty, number 3361. Sir, this is the last contact we've had from the Mars pilgrimage, stated the lieutenant. His story sounds preposterous from start to finish, the commander says with absolute disbelief. Captain, I need you to see this. It's... Huh. It's unlike anything we've seen in the galaxy before, reports a surveyor to the left of the captain. Quote, 